Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my bedroom. Try and give this video somewhat of a structure by trying to like work from the outside of the room and then bring it in so that it feels like there's somewhat of a structure to this video and it's not completely and utterly random even though it, it is really. I'm just trying to make myself feel better by thinking it's not. As a decoration in my room, to start with I have this Broken Bad poster that I absolutely love. I got it quite recently and it was given free to us so you know I love Broken Bad if you haven't watched it go watch it it's definitely worth your time and uh yeah so that's up on my wall down here i've got this uh i've got this canvas that uh, my friends gave me from france when i left and uh it is i love it so much it, it looks like i hate it because it's on the floor uh no i don't hate it the the thing is i it was up here but uh then my hamster cage happened so i'm sorry you you will be put up soon ish hopefully next i've got this kind of thing i found in a magazine and i thought it looked really cool so put it up here's a poster of paris that i've absolutely had for like ages and i don't really like it that much but i just hate bare walls as you can well tell and you will be able to tell throughout the video <laughs> so that's up on my wall as well and uh, yeah it's paris given the fact that there's the eiffel tower in the middle of it and there's people kissing on the picture and I don't really know why I mean I, I just don't there's so much stuff in my room I don't know why I have it but it's just there so I'm just kind of going with the flow here is a uh, be a Bellatrix Lestrange poster I hope I said that right because I went to the Harry Potter world place um, the making of thing in London and obviously they had a gift shop at the end and I was like, well, I mean, I've been to Harry Potter world. I may as well, you know, get something to prove it. So then obviously my window, beautiful. The only thing is that's my, where my head goes when I sleep and that's the poster. So it's basically the first thing I see when I wake up and it's slightly scary at times. Next I've got more Harry Potter world stuff so they kind of randomly gave these out and I was lucky enough to get one and there's a picture of me supposedly on a broomstick which was pretty cool to do obviously there was a green screen and then they like planted that on but uh, it was pretty cool to see how they would have done it for the actual film next I've got a Beatles poster that is literally so old and so damaged if you look at the corners it's like destroyed and fun fact that guy right there can't really see because my fingers blurry. Um, they managed to track him down somehow. I, I have no idea how, but they did. And apparently, he hates the Beatles, and he features on probably the most um, famous Beatles poster ever. Next up on my wall is um, probably my favourite part of my room. It's uh, an area I've got loads of pictures of me and my friends, and just other really cool stuff that I've accumulated over the years. Stuff that I've um, found or made or like that reminds me of different things or different people, different places. So uh, this is actually on a piece of card and I just kind of stuck it down so that I could um, move it if I needed to because I was aware that I was moving not long after I made this and I didn't want to have to like take everything down so I stuck it all on a piece of paper so it's one item so it's easier to move. So I'm not going to go for every picture but there's a picture of me and my best friend on New Year in 2014. That was a like a dressing up day at school and they took a picture of it. Um, and then these are things I've like, got museums that I really like. That's me when I was like four I think. Uh, with my, one of my friends at the time. I still am in touch with actually. Um, and these are some things I've added quite recently. I like to put up some bits of art I've done, like I painted this. Uh, this I had obviously the shape, but I painted it as well. I did that, even though it's really random, but it was good fun that I did a while ago. And then up here I've got uh, some postcards that I've been sent because, you know, memories. That's just a random picture that was left over, so I was like, hey, why not put it on my wall <laughs> to add to the decoration? And this is... Um, kind of a similar thing to this I guess it's 
got loads of pictures of me and my friends. Uh, I did this after I left France, like not long after. It's kind of a, a memory of all my friends, so that I'd have pictures of them. Yeah, that's kind of the decoration in my room. Pretty cool, I think. I like it, so it's quite personal to me, which is why I like it. And uh, people often quite find it quite entertaining to come in my room and just have a look at all the different stuff I've got around. Next, moving on, uh, here is my hamster in his cage. I'm not going to wake him up because I've already woken him up. These are the items for a project that I started about a month ago and just never actually got finished. But I've got everything there because I don't know where else to put it. And because if it's there, at least I can like actually do it when I have the time. Here, this little side, is where I put uh, all the glasses and whatever items of cutlery and whatnot I need to bring down but uh, haven't got around to doing because I'm a lazy person like that. I've got a bean bag as well that is broken because I'm so smart and it's split because I unplugged the plugs and uh, so I kind of left them to dangle and um, it split the bean bag when I was sat on it so that was great. A desk uh, here I've got some just random a picture that I don't like but I don't know what else to do with it so I kind of just leave it there. These paint brushes that I probably dried up and I probably need to deal with. I've got stereo here and uh, I basically hide stuff behind the stereo because I'm too lazy to put it away. Like I've got re revision cards here that just kind of hidden for when I don't need them. <laughs> stuff. I'm very much one of these people that just put stuff in random places because I don't know where else to put it. For example this watch, uh, not at all in a place where it should be but it's there anyway. Up here I've got this kind of whiteboardy thing on which I have calendar I guess that I can change up and here is all the makeup I'm running out of and I'm too broke to buy any of it at the moment so that's fun. Next, moving on, my computer sits here usually when it's not in use and then I've got two here, this one, this one says we're all mad here and I just really loved it. This says never stop learning which is the same as that one over there. So I really loved it so I was like, I need two of these things. I've got little bits of blue tack. I have no idea why. It's just there. I got a fairy. I've actually got three of them. I've got one here, one here. Here I've got more decorational stuff. I've got a random brain that I bought because I just thought it looked sick and I loved it so much. CDs behind because um, I love CDs and I love music. And these are the films that me and my friend well, Louis directed these and kind of put them all together and then we acted in them. Up here, mostly school stuff, school books, but they're hopefully soon gonna go because we'll be able to hand them back. Something I bought from China. Up here I've got, I've got uh, makeup, like book, I've got art books, like this has got quotes in it, more quotes, more art books, sketchbooks, that's actually a photo album, sketchbook. Art books, notebooks, notebooks, art books, and notebooks. <laughs> I've also got this box up here that says, what good thing happened this week? And I'm supposed to write one good thing that happened every week, but I haven't been doing it for like a couple of months because I haven't found anything good to write. Over here is um, where I do my makeup every morning. Down here I keep my bags in that corner there. And here are my clothes. I'm not really gonna show you too much, but uh, that's where I keep my clothes. And this is where I keep my clothes as well. It's my beloved alarm clock that I've had for about seven years, I think. The final thing that I haven't really shown you in my room yet is kind of my windowsill, on which I have a, a load of soft toys because I'm, I'm a little bit fanatical. Like I am here, I have some books. Many of them are books I need to read. These are school books, I can probably get rid of them. I could probably just burn these actually. Or they're books that I've already read and I really like. Um, all their books that I've kind of started and haven't quite got around to finishing yet. So the only thing I just want to say is this is probably one of my all-time favourite books. Um, if I put it on the screen and you can have a little look. You can screenshot it if you want so you can read the back. But it even says on it, everyone should read junk because it's called junk. So please go and have a little look and have a read because it's probably one of the best books I've ever read. That concludes the room tour. There's a few reasons why I wanted to film this video. Uh, the first one is because I thought it'd be fairly fun and it might be a little bit entertaining to watch and I feel like there's a lot of nosy people up there that like to see this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know, I just feel like my room reflects me and represents me and I don't know, I just wanted to share it because 
it's fun and it's a good thing for me to be able to look back on when I'm older and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel because that would mean a lot to me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye back, back, back from the dead.